Hello everybody, this is Derek with Gaming Respawn, and today we'll be taking a look at the X-Plane 11 beta. I'll give you a little bit of a preview. As you can see here, we're going to go right in, I'm going to check the settings, one of the cool things that I absolutely love, <laughs> make things easier, is a calibration wizard, a easy way to set up your controllers. Uh, so many flight sim games, if you've played them before you know, Trying to set up your controls takes a lot of time. Uh, this is kind of fantastic. I have just some simple stuff out here. I just have a set of CH rudder pedals, uh, which it does not show the uh, particular name on it yet. Remember, it is a beta. And I plugged in the old X55 just to make it easy. Kind of overkill for the aircraft that we'll be flying here. But just to show you, there is a quick and easy way to get everything set up. I did try a lot of various different types of equipment. Some some success. Um, I used a SciTech throttle quadrant that worked fine. However, I was not able to get the switch panel working yet. I didn't try at it very hard. You can see uh, graphics options here. We got everything pretty much blasted to maximum. I do have the field of view back a little bit further. That's my own personal preference. So if you look a little further back than you're used to, that's me, not the game. <laughs> um, I may have to adjust that. But uh, yes, the controls, um, just about every toy I can think of, you know, just about everything worked um, except for that switch panel. It's the only thing I couldn't get working. I did not try out the MFDs. Didn't see the point. <laughs> Although it could be useful, there are some really cool aircraft in here, like an SR-71. Uh, I don't recall if that actually has a use for them. Uh, you may have some add-ons that may make use of it, and it'd be good. We're going to check out, first of all, the flight school. Uh, it's nice and easy. It's right in the front menu now, which is fantastic, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, had a good discussion when... Dovetail Games launched their Flight School standalone about how it made it easier. And someone mentioned, yeah, there is one in X-Plane 10. <laughs> and I had to go back and actually look because I had overlooked it the entire time. But we're just going to pick one here and we'll show you a quick mission on it. Like I said, right in the main menu, nice and easy. If you're new to this, you know, that's great. This will help you out greatly. So let's take a look here. I'm doing the takeoff and tail dragger. And you see, like I said, I have the field of view set back pretty far. Um, I think it defaults at 60. I have it set at 90. Uh, it's usually with my track IR, IR, I'm a little bit off. So, and oh my goodness, I'm not really pulling back the stick here. <laughs> you can see my uh, poor takeoff skills. I can get in the air, uh, may not do it very pretty. There you go, That's a real, this is a real quick and easy mission, that's why I wanted to show this one here. You know, just take off and climb. Um, there are some ones with the 172, you know, it's a very recognizable aircraft. Uh, most people, if you've flown or even taken a lesson or two, you've probably been in one. Those are very good too to, to go along with everything. We got some real nice visuals. I'm here at uh, Raleigh Durham Airport. No, nope, I'm sorry, I am wrong. This is uh, flight schools, or I believe this is in the Seattle area. I'll have to uh, double check it told me before. But we're just taking off, and there we go. We're already at the altitude which we're supposed to be. That was it, nice and easy. When you're done, it'll give you a score. There we go, I got, what does it say, 80? Not bad, if I can keep it straight and actually pull back on the stick a little bit, that'd be fine. I didn't spend a whole lot of time fine tuning uh, my controls. Um, so kind of get used to it. And of course, using a flight stick with something with a yoke will make a bit of a difference as well. Uh, like I said, there's helicopter, there's uh, other ones. Everything's covered, even landing an airliner. Now, 
I haven't flown any, any of them yet. We're going to change that. We're going to, let's see, let's go for, uh, we do have a Cessna seaplane, I'm sorry, SR-71. There's the helicopter. we got gliders. And then we have a few general aviation aircraft that you can pick from that are all included. What's going to go with the King Air? That did not go well. Um, I definitely was set a little too far back, but we'll take a 737 up out of out of Raleigh. Um, you can just see some of the uh, things we're picking. SR-71 doesn't have an icon yet, but it's there. I flow it. It was fun. So here we are in the 737 at RDU. Or I don't know what the call letters are properly. <laughs> Apologize. Also, never ever in any of the other flight sims I've been in, I've never bothered with any of these. But I want to check it out for the video here. So this might not be so good. Please don't critique, critique my flying too much. <laughs> the first time, and I have to get used to the uh, pedals again. I set the weather to stormy just to check it out. And oh my god, I did not expect this thing to be pulling that far to the right. <laughs> oh, I'm off the runway. Uh, let's miss the sign. There we go. Yes, okay, we missed it. Excellent. Get back on there. Jeez, I was not expecting that much torque. Well, that's my fault. I should have known better. Now let's see if we can just get her in the air and get moving. Giving it too much, boy. This uh, <laughs> definitely takes some used to getting used to. You know, again, first time with the aircraft, so cut me some slack. But we're up. We got the landing gear up. Now let's uh, get moving here. Want to just check out some of the scenery over there. I know there's not a whole lot to see in the air from the area, as far as I'm concerned we check it out um, now let's take a look what we got yeah here's an outside view just look at some of that nice lighting and everything um, clouds again this is still just a public beta there's plenty of work being done but I wanted to give everybody a first look at everything so if you see something you know maybe doesn't look right you know nothing is final yet uh, I've had a real good time with this. I've never been one for the civilian aviation sims. Um, they haven't really caught on with me, mainly because a lot of it is older, um, or at least their age is showing, and there's an awful lot of add-ons to really get them to look nice. So now we got one that's out now, uh, a lot of updated things. I know many of you may have had add-ons elsewhere. Right now some work, some do not. Uh, you notice right now it's just a little thing, it, like I said, beta. When you uh, come out of pause with jet engines, it doesn't seem to pick your controls back up. Not that problem with the propeller one. Um, but just something to be aware of for now if you do get it and are in the beta. I'll just take a look at some of the scenery. I don't know if I can see it yet. I'll pop my head up going to these clouds. But a lot of the highway there um, looks spot on actually there. Um, so scenery is, while not perfect, pretty good. Um, like I was saying, beta, you can see I have the anti-aliasing up, but you can see the shadows are pretty jaggy right now. Uh, you see that reflection there on the cockpit. So I'm just going to try and get up above the clouds, take a peek, see what we have, and uh, enjoy the view. Maybe we'll try and land it. I'm um, sure I'll crash this thing. <laughs> you know, I don't even, I didn't even read up on it. My bad. You know, normally I would check all the procedures and stuff like that, but it is uh, something that I, I've really been having fun. Like I said, it's it's newer. I don't think anyone new to X-Plane would have to go out and get 
you know, this add-on and that add-on and all these other add-ons right away to get to the level where everyone else was with X-Plane 10. Um, some of you may see that as a good thing, some may see it as a bad thing. Uh, I know it will help more people get into it if you can see everything. You can see the rain come down, sorry. But it will help more people get in if uh, you can fly, everything looks nice from the get-go um, instead of having to purchase you know countless other things you still can um, including paint planes I didn't show a video of it there is a plane maker in here um, if you want to take the time and dedication maybe somebody doesn't have what you want you can do it yourself all right we're out of the clouds so we're popping up here let's just take a look all right let's level her out this thing is a real beast take a look here we're oh, there we go Gotta take a look at those instruments make sure I'm flying right there we go sitting on top of the clouds I think that all looks pretty darn good like I said I didn't really mess too much with any of the uh, weather settings you can let's pop up around now let's see we were heading I'm not sure which direction we were heading. I didn't even look. Uh, that's probably Falls Lake if you're familiar with the area. I could be wrong, however. We might be going a different way. Let's see. Oh, did I catch a runway light? Yeah, there it is down there. I don't even know if it's the same one. We'll see if we can get down there. Um, I'm just trying to make a real <laughs> fast and dirty landing, which isn't advised. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Up there with the clouds and everything. Oh, oh nope. <laughs> Crash. Uh, built up too much speed. I don't even know where the speedometer is in that. Oh, I set the option to have it go to the closest airfield. So we're on the grass runway with the 737. Let's just have a little fun. Let's see if I can get her out of here. Let's go. And, and what is that at the end of the runway? Is that a bridge? Oh, I don't think I have enough room to get over it. Well, let's hope these engines go fast. But yes, um, if you have a chance, really check it out. Consider it. Um, I know if you're a flight sim fan, all the new stuff you got to have. And that's great. Um, if you're not particularly into it, you might want to consider it. This is really good. Oh, we're lifting off. We're going under the bridge. We we didn't clip a wing somehow. <laughs> oh, we made it. We made it up. Hooray. All right. Oh, that's nice little reflection off the water there. You know, I think everything looks really good out of the box, you know. And again, beta for beta status. Yeah, there are still some things, you know, which are left to be done. Uh, I think it looks really good for where it's at. I'm just going to try and turn around and see if I can land back on that, on that patch. I know I won't be able to, uh, if I even find it. Get the nice radar flying around them storms. Alright, is this where I went? Hold on, let's see if I can see up over this. Sink right, sink right, sink oh, right, oh sink it's right, yelling at me. Pull up. They want me to pull up. I don't want to pull up. I think I just overshot where we took off. Yeah, let's just see if I can land it down here. <laughs> I think. Did we go over. Is that an airstrip there? Well, let's see if we can get the field behind it. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. But anyway, everybody, thanks for checking out the preview. And stay tuned later. We will be doing a full review upon release. This is Derek Miller for Gaming Respawn. And thank you again for joining us. Have a good day.